for the Leeds Rhinos. He's all influential in proving a point. Ian Watson does a really good job of getting the most out of his players. You know, he believed that you know, I had something special that you know, I could you know, help, help the team along here with, with Jacko at that time and help me with what he said really and um, you know, I gained a lot of confidence you know, throughout that year and you know, I've been able to be under him for almost a year now and um, you know, I've learned a lot. So he just gives me a lot of confidence, you know, he talks, talks to me and tells me what I can do and, and you know, what I'm good at and just going out there and backing myself really, that's what he says. You are the Steve Prescott, Man of Steel, 2019. He's been the biggest out of everyone. You can talk about players, fans and staff, but without Watto, he's the glue that keeps it all together. And the one thing about Watto he, is he just fills you with the ultimate belief. Um, he lets you know that you're a good player. Um, he fills you with confidence and he wants you to go out there and do your job. He doesn't want you to be anyone else but yourself. And, and that's what he's done for me. He sort of just got me back to playing the football that I was playing as a kid back in Australia and that got me big raps and things like that too. You know, I don't know what it is. I think it's just, um, you know, what a just believing in you and, and, you know, giving you every opportunity you deserve. You know, he's bringing a lot of players that are probably just, you know, thrown out or not wanted or, you know, just told to leave because they're not playing well or, you know, some sort of that. So, you know, coming in just and just believing in you and giving all the confidence you need. I think the last couple of years he's, you know, he's brought the best out of some players. Moose is another one, you know, our captain, you know, stuck strong by him before the injury. So obviously I was at Wigan at the time, uh, I think I was maybe six, six or seven shoulder recons in at that time. 90% made my mind up I was just going to retire. I, I had no enjoyment whatsoever in playing rugby anymore. I was going into games probably scared. It, it sounds a bit of a strong word, but I was, I was scared going into games, not of the opponent or anything like that, but of basically dislocating my shoulder again. And then um, out of the blue, uh, Watto got in touch with me. He said, obviously you're not playing to your potential at the moment, but he said, I've seen you, I've watched you for the last four or five years and, and you're exactly the type of player that I want in my team and the sort of team what I want to build around you. Um, and just somebody telling you that when you've been at the lowest point in your career and confidence is massive and if somebody gives you faith and shows faith in you, it's massive for a career. And I can't thank him enough, he's just sort of found me that enjoyment again in rugby league and I feel like I'm getting probably close to playing the best rugby I've ever played. He's no ego about himself either. You, you, you often meet coaches who are sort of their way or the highway, but he's not like that at all. He likes you to challenge him. If he says something in a video and you disagree, he likes you to speak up and disagree with him. And I don't think it's fluke the amount of players that we sort of took from playing poorly and, and sort of on the way out of certain clubs and he brought them back to playing quality rugby again. So I, think, I don't think it's any fluke. I'm extremely glad I got to meet him. He's taught me a lot about not only rugby league, but life in general. He's obviously experienced a lot as a player and a coach and, and a human being too. So uh, without meeting what I don't know, I'd be the person I am sitting here talking to you. So I'm very proud that I've met the man and you can call him a mate for life.